Sorry, I had to cut the camera off to have a conversation with my bangs because they're trying to play me in this video, sis. So, you know, I had to talk to them, make sure they were gelled down, hair sprayed down, and now we're good to go. Hey everyone, welcome back to my beauty space. If you are new to my channel, my name is Natasha. And of course, in today's review slash tutorial, I did want to bring you guys some Christmas ideas. So as far as gifts that you can buy your family members who are into makeup. I've been like shopping around Target lately and I've been running across these end stands with the Profusion cosmetic line. Now I do use a bunch of drugstore cosmetics that I love, like drugstore is where it's at. I strolled into Target and I was like, you know what? Let me just see what's going on over here. So I picked up the highlight and contour. Now, the main reason I picked up this palette was because of this vanilla shade. I'm like, you know what, sis? I'm about to put this as a brow highlight. Now this is the Tempstress palette and they do have some nice little glitter around the palette. But what really caught my attention were the blue shades and the purple shades in this palette. I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. I haven't did a purple look on my channel yet. But the blue, I, I'm i like, you know what? I, look at my outfit. Like, I just feel like I have to compliment these high-waisted jeans from Forever 21. Now, it's rare that you get a lipstick, a lip liner, and a lip gloss together for $4.99. Let me tell you, if you guys want to see how I got this beautiful, bold look, please keep watching. How I feel being this close and having a turtleneck on. It looks like I have like no neck. <laughs> I usually wait to get dressed. Don't judge. I just, I love turtlenecks. So we're going to go ahead and roll with it. To create this look, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our L'Oreal. This is the collagen filler. And I'm going to moisturize my face. I live in Colorado and it's very dry out here. Now you already know my brows are already done. We are not going to waste time on my brows unless I'm just having like a good brow day, then maybe. But until then, we do brows off camera. Hangover primer. Oh, oh. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this primer place this in my problematic areas, which is my T-zone. That's where I get super oily. And we're just not gonna talk about this pimple. It like wanted its debut today. So we just don't have time. We're not even gonna like continue to acknowledge it. It's, it's all the picture, it's gonna go away. And last, I'm just going to prime my eyes and this is the NYX Eye Base. So the first product that I'm gonna grab is the Highlight and Contour Palette. I told you guys it's super cute. And we're gonna grab the shade Vanilla and we're gonna use this as a brow highlight. There we go. We're gonna tap off any extra. Doing the same to the other eye. And I just wanted something super light, especially since I'm going for such a bold look. Now I am experiencing a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. I mean, I'm used to this with other shadows that I've used. It's not too much. Picking up the palette Tempstress, I am going to first do my transition shade. We are gonna start out with the shade Ember, and it's such a beautiful burnt orange shade. I'm like obsessed with burnt orange, especially for the fall. Cause you know how I feel about fall. Like I'm a fall baby. I love to see the leaves change. This is a transition shade. So let's get this party started. Let me move my little bangs. Whoa. Oh, that's good color payoff. Oh my goodness. I'm like, did my camera pick that up? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so right now I am just using kind of like windshield wiper motions to apply the shadow and then I kind of turn it into circular because I don't want it to go too far. So the next shade that I'm gonna pick up is Enigma, which is right here. It's this beautiful blue shade. And I'm gonna use the Profusion brush to do this. And we're actually gonna place this in my crease. So now we're gonna start building this look. This is like insane color payoff. And I haven't sprayed my brush with no setting spray. And I am kind of applying this to my lid as well. We're gonna pick that same shade up once again. 
We're just making sure that the color payoff is worth the hype. And the shadows blend super easy, so I'm not having a hard time blending any shadow. I'm gonna go back in with a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna take this shade Courage, which is right here. And I'm just going to blend that in to my transition and my brow highlight. Like I said, these shadows are not hard to blend at all. So we are going to pick up the shade Wavy, which is this beautiful blue shade right here. Now I am going to spray my brush with some setting spray, and actually I'll use the Pro Fusion brush. And I just have the Milani Make It Dewy setting spray, and it is a matte shade, and I'm gonna place this on my lid. Oh my goodness. Now you guys see how I don't apply my eyeshadow like this. I literally pat the eyeshadow on. So I pick up the shadow and I pat this on my lid. And this is also gonna help with the color payoff. But wow. Once again, I'm gonna spray my brush to pick up wavy. <laughs> and do my other eye. Remember the patting motion. Okay, so I'm still feeling pretty good about this look. I was going to keep this look matte, but the more that I look at these colors in this palette, I think I'm gonna pick up the shade Thunder, which is right here. And this is shimmery blue shade, and I think I'm gonna add that into my inner corner. So I'm gonna spray my brush once again with setting spray. We're gonna pick up Thunder. Now, this shade actually feels a little hard when I dip my brush into it. So let's go ahead and see how this shadow performs. So I don't know if you guys see the difference. I don't think I really see a difference. I picked up some more. Let me see if my finger makes a difference. Uh, it's kind of patchy. You see me picking it up with my finger. I did have to dip my finger in there kind of hard. Okay, so I'm not gonna fault the palette for having to use my fingers. Sometimes your fingers just work better, especially with these glitter shades that are in the palette. Now I'm just gonna take a black eyeliner and I usually wear nude eyeliner in my waterline, but we can go ahead and switch it up today. Sorry, I had to cut the camera off to have a conversation with my bangs because they're trying to play me in those videos, sis. So, you know, I had to talk to them, make sure they were gelled down, hair sprayed down, and now we're good to go. These are the Curly Queen lashes. These are my all-time favorite. Like, I love them. So now I'm just gonna take some CoverGirl. This is the Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. Let me shake this bad boy up. I don't think I've used this in a while, but I really like it, and I just put some on my hand. I usually do my foundation first, but I didn't know how much fallout I was gonna get from this palette, so that's why I wanted to wait. And I don't have blue under eye circles. It is some of the fallout from the makeup. I was like, hold on, wait a minute. Spraying my brush with some setting spray, picking up my foundation. And this is just gonna bring the whole look together. I don't know, I don't know how it's picking up on camera. It looks like it's a little too dark for me. I've been wearing it, so hopefully it's not too bad to where people are like noticing. But I really like this foundation. It stays matte all day, darling. And I think I'm gonna have to put a little bit of foundation on my neck. Take my Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. This is in the shade Butterscotch. We're going to highlight. Oh, I got too happy. These are the normal areas that I tend to highlight. My contour, this is of course from LA Girl. We are going to bring this down the bridge of my nose. I'm not gonna do my forehead today because I've already did my baby hair. I mean, you want it to be straight, but 
I mean, who am I trying to please? Taking some more setting spray. I always spray a stippling brush anytime I do this. And we're gonna blend out what I put on my cheek. And a little does go a long way. The Born This Way Sculpting Concealer, I really like it. And I love how the concealer has a lot of shades. Like there's a lot of shades to choose from. So I'm definitely happy about that. Cause sometimes a lot of concealers, they just have light, medium, and dark. And that works for some people, but I really feel like butterscotch is like a good mix. And that's why I don't mind my foundation looking orange because I feel like this concealer balances it. That wasn't a word. It balanced my foundation out. I mean, look how, Look how beautiful that is. Just doing the bridge of my nose. Let's get our forehead, or in my case, my five head. We're gonna go with the medium chisel. I must say that the contour looks very beautiful. It's not streaky, so I'm happy about that. I am going to pick up a pink blush, and this is from Milani. Since my eyes are blue, I did want to switch it up and do like a pink cheek. Usually I do like a coral cheek, so. Now I want to take my Born This Way setting powder in the shade Medium. We're gonna go back into Wavy, which is a matte shade. That's what it looks like, it's just so beautiful. Okay, we're gonna try Conquest, which is right there. I'm going to wipe off the setting powder. Let me do my lower lash line. Back into the highlight and contour palette. I'm gonna pick up the shade Opio Glow. Let me spray my brush. I don't wanna go too crazy with this highlight, but look at that. Oh, let's see how it looks on my skin. Moving on to the last star of the show, I do have the lip liner the velvet matte lipstick as well as a lip strobe. So I'm assuming this is like a lip gloss to put on top, but I might have to help this lip liner out. So let me first try it. Let's see how it looks. If I swatch it on my hand, this is the color it's supposed to be. I'm just grabbing the shade Matte Bear. Let me go ahead and swatch this on It's really pretty. I'll go ahead and swatch the lip gloss. Profusion, I'm not mad at this. I'm gonna say I am super impressed with the Profusion line. So let me just end everything by spraying my face with some setting spray. So I just wanna thank you guys for always leaving positive comments under my videos. If you guys have tried the Profusion cosmetic line, please leave a comment down below. Give your honest review as well. How did you feel about the palette? Did it work out for you? Until my next video, please do not forget to give me a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.